All right, so I'm going to do my absolute best. <laughs> Last time I tried to do this, I did mess it up, but um, this time I'm hopefully going to do it right. I'm going to show you guys how I make my French toast. Um, I would be an absolute charlatan if I did not plug Greg Duchette and um, Remington James because those are the two guys who I kind of got a lot of my influence in my cooking from. Uh, some people could say they're sugar addicts and eat like kids. I don't care. Um, whatever helps you stick to your diet um, and maintain a healthier lifestyle, healthier body weight, healthier body composition, um, I'm all for that. If that means you have seed oils, uh, artificial sweeteners, sugar, anything like that, I do don't care. We have to make the barrier to better health as low as possible. So um, this is a breakfast that I do honestly almost every single morning. I'll usually get two loaves of bread and uh, just run with that for like a week or two. Um, maybe I'll do like pancakes or waffles as well. Um, I, I just love breakfast foods. I can't lie. So um, without further ado, let's see how I do this. All right. So we are going to need some cinnamon. So you can see I got my Kirkland cinnamon right here. Um, a bread of your choice. I use the Sara Lee 45 just because I believe it soaks up eggs the best. And um, I like the taste of it. It's the lowest calorie as well. Um, you're going to need two whole eggs, or at least that's the way that I make it. You could use all whole eggs. And you're also going to need some egg whites. Once again, you could skip the egg whites if you're okay with having a little bit more fat. Me personally, I like to go a little bit lighter on the fat, but um, I never skip the egg yolks just because I want to make sure I get all the nutrients and some fats in my diet anyways. Um, that's just me personally. And you're also going to need a little bit of a sweetener of your choice. I use Splenda. Um, once again, don't really care about what anybody thinks about artificial sweeteners. Uh, a pretty big bowl, that's what I use, and a food scale. So go ahead, turn on the food scale, and let's put in 220 grams of egg whites. Um, I do have another thing there because this one might run out. Uh, we are almost, uh, went a little over, but that's okay. Go ahead, throw that one out. So then once that's done, you go ahead, add your sweetener and your cinnamon. There's no real specific amount. You could just kind of add as you like. I kind of like cinnamon, so having a little bit more in there doesn't bother me at all. Um, same deal with the sweetener. You can get carried away. You could use it sparingly. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you might think I get carried away. I think I do just fine should be plenty. All right, now it's safe to get rid of the food scale and we're gonna crack the two whole eggs in there and uh, mix it all together. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I have my phone on the stove anchored by the cast iron skillet, so here we go. Don't get any egg in there because as it turns out, eating egg shells is probably not good for you. I remember hearing uh, carnivore people talk years and years and years ago about how you could eat eggshells. Um, never really sounded all that appetizing to me. So now that you got the two whole eggs in there, you gotta take your fork and stir the living shit out of it. You wanna get all that cinnamon, sweetener, egg whites, egg yolks, and everything all mixed up into a pretty good consistency there. So that way you will get all the ingredients when you go to dip your bread in. Um, the other thing I didn't mention is that it is almost 7 p.m my time. Uh, I'm going to be going to bed here probably like an hour and a half. I always make this the night before I'm going to use it so that way I'm not running around like a moron when I wake up first thing in the morning and have to worry about making breakfast. I'm already prepared. And if anybody knows me, I like to be very consistent. Um, I like to always have a plan. Um, one of my favorite sayings is a man without a plan is no man at all. And I find that to be very, very true. And if you want to stick to your diet, it is very, very important that you always have a plan and you're always ready for when things may go south. So there you go. Our French toast looks nice. You can see all the cinnamon and everything added up in there. We are going to go ahead and put that in the fridge. If I would have made any room for it. That's what a smart person would do. I'm gonna just jam her in there. It'll be all right. And we'll be taking some stuff out tomorrow morning whenever I get back to this. 
because we're going to use some things to make the French toast just a little bit tastier. Um, I make all sorts of stuff with this French toast recipe in particular. Um, one of my personal favorites is the salted caramel, chocolate salted caramel French toast. Uh, I know that sounds like a real weird batch of flavors, but trust me, if you get the Lily's salted caramel chocolate chips, they are out of this world on the, on the uh, French toast. I'm going to be trying something different tomorrow morning, and we will see what that is together. I don't know why I'm sitting here pointing at you guys with the eggs. So, um, good night, everybody. Um, this will be one whole video, but, um, you know, I just figured I'd throw it out there. Hopefully, you know, maybe you'll do the same thing as me. You'll go to bed after this. But who knows? All right, so it is 4.45 in the morning. Um, got my egg mix right here, so you guys can see that we made yesterday. Or if you're watching this video, then whatever. Um, all my bread laid out right here. Spatula. I got my pan right here, nice and warm. And I also have some toppings that we're going to use to make this French toast a little bit tastier. So, what you want to do, I always take the fork out, right, because I've worked in overnight just so that way I got one for the next morning. Off. You take your bread, put it in there, don't pound it, just kind of tap it around. Pull it out. Don't have too much on there because you'll have egg running everywhere. And drop it. Nice and simple. So I do six pieces of bread. Depending on however many you do, then you know you could use more or less. Adjust the amount of eggs that you get in there. I normally cook three pieces at once. I've cooked four pieces, but sometimes they can kind of overlap and then that just gets real messy. As you can see, I got a little, little dripper there. That one in there. Last piece. And that's that. I want to get the eggs off my fingers. Uh, sometimes I'll grab a little bit more sweetener, uh, maybe even a little bit of cinnamon. And while the toast is cooking, just kind of sprinkle a little bit on there, give it a little bit more flavor. Um, there's no real specific amount of time that you have to leave this cook. Um, just kind of watch it and make sure that when you go to flip it, that the side that's facing the pan is it fully cooked. You know what, let's do this. So as you can see right now, these um, are still pretty wet. Um, that's the other side. We're going to see that um, on the underneath it's getting cooked, but you have to give it a few minutes just to make sure that the egg gets fully cooked and then obviously goes through the toast. All right, so we let it sit for a few minutes and we are going to now flip it. Hopefully, I forgot to tell you that you should probably spray your pan. Thankfully, this is a non-stick. I'm already waiting to hear people say how it's going to turn the frogs gay or something stupid. So, flip that. Toast all looks pretty good. Yeah, definitely having a non-stick will uh, help you out a little bit. This one up a little bit. That's okay though. You leave it sit for a little bit longer. I'll show you what this one looks like. So you can see this one right here. I kind of messed up a little bit. Should have pulled the whole uh, you know egg with it. It's because I'm an idiot and forgot to put non-stick on it. That's okay. You see this is nice and fluffy. As is that. Now that I said, you could put toppings on here, so we're going to put some marshmallows on here, and I'm going to be trying uh, something new that I haven't quite tried with French toast before, but uh, you know, we're going to have a little bit of a experimente together here.
In case anybody's never seen him. That's my dog, Axton. What's up, buddy? So I'm making s'mores French toast. S'mores peanut butter French toast, that is. I got my peanut butter, graham crackers, and marshmallows all broken up on it. Let's sprinkle a little bit more crushed up graham cracker on all of these. And I... Uh, you guys don't have to do this. This is probably going to be a shit ton of calories, but um, I wanted to try this out. I saw a recipe online and figured, oh, why the heck not? So uh, I still got the other piece of bread cooking. Um, this time I remembered to put it on stick, as you can see right there. And um, when I get back, we will uh, try this all together. All right, so we have our French toast made. Like I said, I made s'mores French toast. I have not ever made this before. But I really, really, really wanted to try it because it's like my favorite thing in the world is s'mores. Um, I did perhaps make a little too much graham cracker topping, but um, here we go. Let's try it out. We're going to go ahead and cut it right down the middle there. Um, you don't have to make it this way. Like I said, this is going to be a lot of calories. So, um, you know, if it's not within your macro goal, then it may not be the best idea for you. I'm probably going to eat lighter the rest of the day because this is a lot of calories and, um, you know, that's okay. It's, it's, I fit into the plan, which is all you really have to do whenever you're on a diet. It's just whatever you're going to have. If you want to have some ice cream, if you want to have, um, you know, a fatty ribeye, if you want to have a full rack of ribs from Smoky Bones or something like that, I don't know. Just, uh, try to fit into your plan. So here we go. Let's, uh, grab uh, that piece right there. Oh yeah. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. I don't want to bore you guys with me just eating. I'm going to put a little more graham cracker topping on there because that is delicious. Um, yeah, this is how you make French toast. And then, like I said, you put whatever toppings you like on it. Um, it's going to keep your calories relatively in check. Um, I believe the way I make it, you're probably going to get about 40 grams of protein, 40 or 50 grams of protein. Depending on your macros, you can use less egg whites, more whole eggs, less whole eggs, whatever you want to do. The world is your oyster, as uh, they say. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'll probably do more content like this, but, um, you know, obviously two podcasts a week. Uh, follow me on Twitter at K-Y-L-E-M-A-T-O-V-C-I-K. Um, that's Kalmatovic. I'm also on Facebook. Find me there. Check out my band, Common Crown. And I appreciate all you guys watching. Until next time, take care.